Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is John McGrath from Foundation Expo 88 and the 25th anniversary of World Expo 88 People's Committee. And we're doing a series of videos for Foundation Expo 88's YouTube channels in the lead up to the 25th anniversary next year in 2013. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. James McCormick, MBE, Joint Chief Architect of World Expo 88 and the original protagonist for our World Expo 88 for Brisbane. And um, this, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at some of the material that's been given to the State Library of Queensland, the John Oxley Library in particular. And you'll notice this very impressive tone here. Uh, the title is World Expo 88, History of Progress, 1976 to 1983, as recorded by James McCormick, MBE, as we can see here. And uh, this was a joint decision made by myself and James uh, to have this original correspondence from this very seminal early period of time in the lead up to Brisbane winning the host rights for Brisbane's World Expo 88 to have it reported for all time and in a public repository such as the John Oxley Library. So James, can you tell us a bit about some of the precious uh, correspondence which is located in this time? Well, there was so much of it, frank, frankly, but it was correspondence in and correspondence out and uh, as far as Brisbane uh, authorities were concerned, but it also included a lot of correspondence from overseas. Um, the uh, engineers for the expressway system through the city, Wilbur Smith, uh, were a big uh, American company which had done a couple of expos uh, right. in America. Yep. And uh, I forget now, Louisiana and somewhere else. Yes. But they were in Brisbane here and they had the background of experience and resources and I thought, well, I'll get them to help. So in the early days, when uh, this correspondence was being uh, swapped backwards and forwards, Wilbur Smith had quite a role to play in giving me information on the background of how many people could you expect through the gate, which was right. an important consideration, how would it be financed. But sadly, they, their role never continued uh, with all the complications that uh, occurred over the next eight years and more. Right. So it was collecting quite a pile of information and it had to be protected in some way for this posterity, I can't pronounce the word. Posterity, yes. Thank you. So I thought um, the, the State Library was the best place. Yes. They've got all the drawings and all the document documentation and the documentation was quite numerous. And they have the original, as well as this tone, this ballad oh, copy as well, don't they? There are, there are five copies of that. Yes, and right. one of them is in the Bureau of International Expositions Library in Paris as well. Yes, yes, and I think there's one in the uh, South Bank of the Corporation. Well. South Bank Corporation. Mm. And let's just take a quick look. Um, as you can see, it's, 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 more than a, it's, it's more than 100 pages of um, correspondence with regards to the very early stages of World Expo 88 and how it all came to happen. And also there is um, some newspaper clippings as well. This one in particular, as you can say, as you can see here, the man who won Expo for Queensland is a 30th of April 1988, the official opening ceremony day of World Expo 88 story from the Canberra Times. And it goes into some detail as to Mr. McCormick's role. Very interesting read. I highly recommend that if you are in Brisbane, if you are visiting the State Library of Queensland, do pay a visit to the John Oxley Library and do ask for the James McCormick MBE Chronicles and uh, have a look through the correspondence yourself. I'm sure you'll find it a fascinating and very insightful read into the origins of World Expo 88. Once again, this is John McGregor from Foundation Expo 88. Thank you very much for your time again, Mr. McCormick, and we look forward to you visiting our YouTube channel at Foundation Expo 88 in the near future. Thank John, you. And John, yes, before you sign yes. off. Mention also the fact that there are ten large drawings uh, that show early sketches as to how the expo should be staged. Also at the State Library. Also in the State Library. Yes, don't forget to also have a look at some of the original sketches for World Expo 88 there too. Thank you and signing off from Foundation Expo 88, goodbye.